interview the Director of Social Services in McKenna County, Virginia, and we talk about issues of hunger, poverty, and homelessness specific to McKenna County. Um, we began our conversation by discussing statistical information, and the Director informed me that the population of McKenna County is 24,000 people. He said that only 6,000 of those people are currently receiving SNAP benefits, which is food stamps. He also said that only 65% of the eligible eligible population of Buchanan County are currently receiving SNAP benefits. And what that means is that 35% of the eligible population choose not to apply for SNAP benefits. He went on to say um, that this makes them automatically have an economic disadvantage and that is because the money they're using to buy groceries they could use to improve their quality of life. For example, they could save the money for down payment on a house, or um, to further their educations and improve their quality of life. And so I asked him why those people choose not to apply, why that 35% don't apply. And he said that the number one reason they get is because people don't want to go on welfare. So it seems that there is a negative stigma attached to um, receiving SNAP benefits to some parts of the county. He also said that 25% of the population of McKenna County currently live below the federal poverty guideline. Uh, McKenna County is a unique population. They have an abundance of unemployed residents by choice, and these residents are not currently seeking employment. Um, the reason why is because many times their previous jobs were very labor intensive and they sustained injuries, and because of that, they just choose not to be employed again. So the unemployment rate is not really accurate because the number of unemployed um, persons are not all looking for employment. We also discussed the makeup of the local economy of Buchanan County and how that's changed in the recent past. Recently, FEMA bought out businesses and they had plans of developing a new town center. What happened though is that most business owners took the money they received from FEMA and left town. That left the county um, in a difficult situation because it's hard to bring new industry and technology to the area because of the geographic isolation and also the lack of adequate highway access to a major interstate. In spite of these challenges, the community does have a blueprint for, for employment and educational opportunities, and they've created a law school and a pharmacy school, and currently have plans um, of creating a, an optometry school, and they hope that this will provide a stable economy in the future. However, residents that are not associated with this new plan are the result of family members migrating out, and they're just attached to the area um, due to limited opportunities. We also discussed the homeless population of Buchanan County. And in Buchanan County, there are no um, people standing on the street. The stereotypical homeless population doesn't exist. However, there are um, homeless as defined by the McKinney Vento Act. And the biggest example of this, according to the director, was residents that are living with family members. And so uh, we discussed that in one of our modules as couch homeless, and that is um, a prominent homeless population in the county. I asked if there were adequate resources for homeless families, and the director said yes, there is adequate transitional housing, but the county currently lacks facilities for senior care and treatment. Oftentimes the frail and elderly population are required to move outside the county to receive the services that they need. And we also talked about the housing market and how that impacts the homeless population. And the housing market has been saturated by the influx of the student population um, due to the, the law school and the pharmacy school. And there aren't any dormitories for those two schools. So therefore, there is a shortage of available rental properties. And finally, I asked the director about the strengths of Buchanan County. And he um, contended that the number one strength of the county is the people. The people here are willing to help their neighbors and the county leaders are very progressive and have a plan in place to move away from reliance on natural, on natural resources for employment and move towards a more professional workforce. So in spite of the challenges that we discussed, um, and for challenges, the director informed me that Buchanan County regularly ranks among the poorest county in Virginia. So there are obvious um, challenges here, but the strengths seem to outweigh the challenges in Buchanan County is continuing to move forward.